In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a quick and easy way to remove the background of an image. So you can see here, we've done a little mock-up here of the sweatshirt. Now, this was an image that was posted recently to our Facebook group, and there was a demonstration of how to extract the background of this image. And there's actually a pretty easy way to do that, just using CorelDRAW and a couple of basic, simple steps. Now, most of your mock-up images, this will work quite well for because they have a solid color background. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and trace this bitmap. In fact, let's, let's add a weed box so you can see what we're going to do here. So we've added our weed box there. And you can see this white part of the image, that's what we need to get rid of. So we need, we need it around the edges of our shirt here. We need it to just be uh, whatever the background color is. So if I were to change that to blue, you could see it's a perfect extraction. So we need to drop all this white. Well, how do we do that? Well, the way we're going to do that is by tracing our bitmap. And you could choose low quality image, high quality image. I usually choose low quality image here for this example. Not that it really matters. And so you can see by default what Corel Draw has done is taken the most dominant color and gotten rid of it. And that, and that happens to be white in this example. So we'll just go ahead and accept the defaults as is. And then it gives us a, a vectorized version of our shirt. You can see that here. And, and while that doesn't look good, that's not what we're after. What we're after is the boundary. So we're going to go ahead and choose the boundary option here in CorelDRAW, and that gives us a boundary object. You can see there's our vector boundary now. It's just the silhouette or outline of our sweatshirt. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to offset this just a bit. So let's just offset that a bit, and you can do that visually here. Right click, break contour group apart, and now we have a slightly smaller version of our outline. So then to finish this off, all we need to do is right click on our bitmap and choose power clip inside and then right click and choose edit power clip and all we have to do is align our shirt to the outline that we just created. Now part of our shirt, you can see just a little tiny bit, you can see maybe right here is a good example, will be clipped away, but that's okay because for our mock-up purposes, it's really not that critical. So once you're happy with the alignment of your bitmap shirt and your outline, let's just go ahead and finish editing this level. I just right click and choose finish editing this level. And then we have to get rid of the outline of our boundary. So just right click. And now we should have a nice cutout for our shirt. Now there is one minor issue right here. You see that right here? So let's just double click on that. And let's just do some basic note editing here. And we're just double clicking to get, to get rid of a note or two here and there. So you may have to come in and make some small edits to perfect that outline, but you can see that's pretty good. Now right here, I might do the same thing. You can see, so we could be as, as perfect as we want. And there you go. So that is our finished product. Now we could come in here. Now if we want to, might be fun to just come in here and let's add a drop shadow as well, just for just for the fun of it here. So we'll go drop shadow and we'll go this way. And so there's our drop shadow and we can increase our feathering here. So it softens it a little bit. And then we can also make it a little bit darker. So you can see you can come up with a nice looking mock-up that way with a little bit of a drop shadow. And it's very easy to do. So just uh, take your bitmap, do that trace, and then we can go ahead and lay our bitmap into our outline and you get a nice little cutout that way. Thanks for watching.